initial amplifier view of the friction amplifier fundamentals this is ideal differential amplifier we are having two inputs v1 and v2 we'll get an output which is v0 proportional to the difference between the two input signals okay now this proportional sign this proportional sign is replaced by a constant e let we call it e as adm adm implies that it is differential mode gain this is differential mode gain so differential mode gain is differential mode gain in case of ideal differential amplifier in case of ideal differential amplifier it is output voltage over the difference signal v1 minus v2 so this becomes the differential mode gain for ideal differential amplifier voltage gain of differential uh you know like uh, differential amplifier it is in a differential mode this is you know this gain is called denoted by adm that the differential mode voltage gain Okay, like uh, if we are having the two signals here, the differential signals are what are the differential signals? Like if this one signal is like this, and second signal is like this, they are known as this is V one. This is V2. Opposite in phase, they are called the difference differential signals. So it gives differential amplifier gives maximum output voltage for such type of differential signals. If it is spectacle differential amplifier, then there is second gain. that is called common mode voltage gain common mode voltage gain now what is common mode voltage gain now if we are having the two signals like one is this one and other is of the same phase same shape everything same v1 and v2 v1 dash you call it v1 dash and v2 dash v1 dash and v2 dash they are called common mode signal they are same exactly same in shape and same phase if the differential amplifier is ideal then the output corresponding to this and this should be zero because differential amplifier giving the difference so this minus this equals to zero but in real case the and differential amplifier gives some signal gives some output for common mode voltage okay so if we are having two signals like this v1 v1 dash and v2 dash then we take the common mode signal input signal you know common mode signal it becomes v1 dash plus v2 dash 
divided by two. And the you know differential amplifier, it is having some common mode voltage gain. Like it gives some output, you know, output due to common mode voltage gain. Like here, you see A common mode gain and common mode input signal. Okay, so total total output is the total output is the differential mod gain and the differential difference signal v1 minus v2 plus the common mod gain and the average common mods input signal like the average of these two that is VCM. So for particular differential amplifier, this is output. And if differential amplifier is good, good one, then this term should be very, 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 very small. And this should be very, very and very high. So if we are having we are having the common mode signal like this and this one and if the op amplifier or, or the differential amplifier is ideal there should not be any output okay but practically you know it do exhibit a small common mode gain the higher the differential gain if the differential gain is good, better the performance of the differential amplifier. And uh, then we can reject the common mod signal. Common mod signal should be rejected by the, this signal should be rejected by the differential amplifier or the op amplifier. This should be rejected because you know, the noise appears at the input and advice appears equally uh, equally mean equal phase like that and differential amplifier having the importance that differential amplifier rejects the noise now we are having common mode rejection ratio the differential amplifier Differential amplifier should have high differential voltage gain and very low common mode voltage gain. So this ratio is called CMRR, common mode rejection ratio. Common mode rejection ratio is the ratio of differential mode gain or the common mode. They should be high, they should be very high, they should be very low. And in decibels, generally it is written in decibel 20 log to the base 10 ADM upon ACM. And this is what CMRR. So this is the expression. Importance of CMRR, the ability of the differential amplifier or the op amplifier to reject common mode signals we don't require the common mode signals actually this is one of the main advantages common mode signals are usually undesired signals like noise caused by external interference so differential amplifier having ability to reject such unwanted signal so CMRR should be very high. Okay.